Not too long ago, I released a video in which I discussed Belgium's deliberation on four games that they investigated featuring loot boxes. The games in question were Star Wars Battlefront 2, Overwatch, FIFA 18, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Of these four games, the latter three were deemed to be violating gambling regulation, and the only reason Battlefront 2 managed to get away with it was because they removed paid loot boxes before the deliberation was made. If the publishers of these games don't remove their game's loot box systems outright, they could be facing fines, sales bans, and even jail time. Belgium isn't kidding around with this stuff. Now, FIFA 18 being ruled as gambling with its Ultimate Team card packs is especially a big deal, as EA makes like a quarter of its annual revenue from their sports titles Ultimate Team mode alone. FIFA in particular sells incredibly well all around the world, and is arguably EA's true flagship title. So for this game to be denied from implementing glorified gambling features that rake in so much cash will no doubt have significant repercussions on EA's profit margin. In light of this development, media outlets have been reaching out for a statement from EA about the matter, among them being website Kotaku, and they actually got a response via email. Here is what EA had to say. The Belgium Gaming Commission has not contacted us or shared its report. We strongly believe that our games are developed and implemented ethically and lawfully around the world, and take these responsibilities very seriously. We care deeply that our players are having fun and fair experience in all of our games, and take great care to ensure each game is marketed responsibly, including in compliance with regional rating standards. We would welcome the dialogue with Minister Jeans on these topics, as we do not agree that our games can be considered as any form of gambling. Yeah, this right here is just about the type of bullshit boilerplate corporate response that I expected from a company like EA. One has to laugh at the notion that the company actually cares deeply about players having a fun and fair experience, when time and again they've shown that their real customers are their investors, while us the consumers are treated as the cattle, with their games acting as the milking machine. Time will tell if EA can actually show that they've learned to stop treating gamers like crap after the Battlefront 2 debacle. They did make some headway when they removed all forms of randomized monetization schemes from the game, confining microtransactions to upfront cosmetic items that can also be earned in-game, which I think is the best compromise we could have asked for given the circumstances. But at the same time, one has to wonder whether this was truly a genuine gesture of goodwill or if it was merely a tactical retreat as a means to mitigate unprecedented backlash, especially considering that there are still plenty of EA titles that contain paid loot boxes, particularly the EA Sports titles and their Ultimate Team card packs. Stuff that's flown under the radar. It's only Battlefront 2, the title that made headlines, that has retreated to the extent that it has. This hasn't been a company-wide thing, just something confined specifically to this particular controversy. I suppose we'll have to wait and see how EA handles titles like Battlefield 5 and Anthem. If those games can implement a monetization system that doesn't push the envelope beyond the overhauled version of Battlefront 2, so confined to upfront cosmetic items that can also be earned in-game, then we might be able to breathe a little easier. However, seeing EA continue to claim that loot boxes cannot be considered to be any form of gambling only goes to show that they're still intent on keeping loot boxes around. Despite all that's happened, they won't admit that these kinds of mechanisms are predatory and insidious. They're still trying to sell the notion that these monetization schemes are perfectly innocent and acceptable, that they are there for our benefit, to offer us choice and what have you. They are dead set on defending FIFA's glorified gambling system to its bitter end as it's one of their primary sources of income and recent financial success. This right here is why it's impossible for me to trust that EA can change for the better, or to believe that they have truly learned anything beyond the fact that they need to be more strategic and underhanded about how they implement shady monetization schemes and how they push the envelope. The one thing that EA just cannot seem to do is being genuine about admitting their mistakes. They won't say that they got greedy, acknowledge that people don't like paid loot boxes in their games, and yield to the fact that paid loot boxes are very much a form of gambling. They'll claim that they didn't mean to create a slot machine that takes people's money, when the sole purpose of loot boxes is to be slot machines that take people's money. 
Hell, as I've pointed out before, you look at loot box systems in games like Need for Speed Payback and how they spin and sound like slot machines, and one honestly has to wonder how stupid EA thinks consumers are to assume they would believe their claims that the correlation between loot boxes and slot machines was purely accidental. The fact that EA continues to claim that this stuff isn't gambling, that they still continue to fight to keep these systems around only tells me that the Battlefront 2 overhaul was nothing more than a tactical return treat, not a sign of change or retribution. Well, judging by recent developments, sooner or later, regardless of what bullshit EA tries to sell us, they'll have no choice but to cave in as more and more countries begin to crack down on anti-consumer practices in the gaming industry. Belgium is only the beginning. We already know that the entirety of the European Union, a big market for franchises like FIFA, is looking into this, and once they lay down the hammer, EA can claim whatever the hell they want, but eventually implementing loot boxes will become a genuine legal risk. And when that time comes, they'll have no choice but to steer clear of this stuff if they don't want to get into major trouble. At this point, I truly do think and hope it's a matter of time before loot boxes are completely eradicated. Consumers hate it and government bodies around the world hate it. Sooner or later, the gaming industry will have to realize that they aren't exempt from laws and regulation, that they can't just do whatever the hell they want and expect to get away with it. So keep saying that this stuff is isn't gambling EA because nobody's buying it and it won't matter once entire continents start pushing back. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It is completely optional, but donating even as little as a dollar a month will go a long way in helping maintain this channel. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.